this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Libra. Hi, Libra. All right, so I did say general love reading, so this is not a twin flame reading. However, if twin flame cards do come up, I will be sure to let you know. Um, this is a timeless read, so whenever you find this reading, Libra, it's for you. All right, and while it is timeless, um, we are going to try to focus on the energy. We will focus on the energy of September, but it is a timeless read. So if you find it and it's not, you know, September, whatever, um, you know, take it out, take it how it resonates. All right, so let's dive right in. What do we got for Libra? And I've already clean, cleansed the space with sound. So I got my little bell that I use for that right here. Doo, 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 doo. All right, Libra, what do we got for Libra? Libra, what do we got for Libra? Hmm, that was kind of a crappy shuffle, but I shuffled three times. <clears throat> All right, what do we got for Libra? To cut off. Whoa, that one came out right away. So, first card, it literally flew out. It flew the fuck out, Libra. Nine of Cups, and it says, A Wish. So, this is a love wish. Something that you have been wishing for for a long time. Is it that you're wishing for love? Have you been wishing for a certain person? I don't know. It's a wish fulfillment. You're getting your wish. We'll just say that. Like people call it the wish fulfillment card, but you know, this actually says a wish right on there. I showed it to you, right? Four of cups, boredom. So while there hasn't been, you know, anything going on in your love life, right? So you may be feeling like a little bit bored, a little bit, um, I was going to say almost like the energy stagnant, but it doesn't feel stagnant, Libra. It just, you might feel like it is, but it's not. Okay. I feel like the energy, your energy is flowing really well. I can feel it. Um, but you know, it's been feeling like a little bit of the same old, same old. And maybe that's why you threw that wish out there, you know? So I was reading for Virgo and my kids brought me this beautiful picture. So that's why. Um, I, I just put it behind my, uh, my props there. So just reminds me that they're, they're the reason that I work so hard. <laughs> All right. So your wish involves some type of clarity, some kind of truth being told, right? It's the ace of swords and it says victory. So Whatever truth is being told to you, Libra, it's it has to do with something that you've wished for for a really long time. And it's going to feel like a huge win, right? No more boredom. <laughs> you may have been feeling like bored because you felt like, you know, I made this wish like forever ago and it's not happening and there's no movement. And... It hasn't, it's not your energy that's stagnant. It was your person's. That's what it was. They didn't know what the fuck they wanted, did they? The king of the ocean order. Wow. I don't even know what this is. The king of the ocean. What is the king of the ocean? It's got to, I have to look this up. Libra. Um, so I know the emperor card in this deck is the high priest. This is the king of the ocean, and it looks like it's number 14. I have to look this up. This might be the Hierophant in the regular tarot. This deck is a little bit different than, like, the standard tarot. I mean, they still have, like, the Hierophant and all of that, and the high priest and all of that stuff. Um, or, not the high priest. Oh, my God. So, the, the high priest is the Hierophant, and then the emperor, but they call them different names, and so... I'm not sure what this is, so I have to look it up. Um, I don't even know where it is. <laughs> I don't even know. I have no idea. So, 
so it's oh so it is the emperor so we have the magician the high priestess which is number two number three the queen of the ocean which is the empress right and then number four the king of the ocean which is the emperor and then number five the high priest which would be the high priest is is the hierophant okay so i have had the high priest i didn't know if it was the high priest or or i mean if it was oh my god i cannot <laughs> i didn't know if it was the hierophant or the emperor so it is the emperor okay so does your wish involve the emperor <laughs> libra <clears throat> does it do you desire the emperor is that what you're waiting for is that what your wish is or is this your energy? Are you standing in your emperor energy? Are you organizing your life? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I guess only you'll know, my beautiful Libras. Damn, and your energy is beautiful. These cards are flying the fuck out. So we have Eight of Swords Restriction. So right now, this is, you know, Eight of Swords is about being lost inside your mind, lost in your thoughts. Let that shit go. Don't worry about the fucking hows or the winds or the whys, okay? Let the universe work that shit out, okay? Don't get all up in your head and, like, get imprisoned by your weird thoughts. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean weird, but I did mean weird. Like, just let things flow, okay? Stop letting your mind block you, okay? Don't worry. Don't worry about anything in regards to your love life. Just allow the universe to bring in your wish. That is way too many cards, Spirit. I'm not taking all of those. I understand we love Libra. I do love Libra because, you know, you guys are one of the signs that watch me the most. And so I'm so grateful for that. In fact, I'm going to do a bonus read for you guys for this month because I wanted to say thank you. You and Cancer and Pisces have been giving me so many views, and I'm so grateful for all of you. I'm going to show my gratitude by giving you a bonus read. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet, though. All right, Ace of Pentacles, Prosperity. So, this is a love reading, so we're not talking about finances, but if we were, you know, I would be saying you're going to have a lot of money. So, either way, you know, if it, it it's coming up. So yeah, you probably will. Your finances, if you're worried about your finances, don't worry about them because it looks like you have something substantial coming in. You have prosperity, right? But in regards to this, there is also where the emperor, okay, if this is about a, a, a masculine with the emperor energy, the emperor would normally come in with this kind of egotistical type unbending energy right the the emperor is very close to like the king of swords where like they're they're very brisk with their energy they're very um they don't really use their heart as much they're they're really fucking logical and they can come across as sort of cold right they believe in everything you know has to be done a certain way they're they can be a little bit controlling you know in a way I mean, they're a fair leader, but, you know, they're, they're cold and boring. And, but, so we have the Ace of Pentacles and there's a turtle on here. So what this is showing me is the Emperor is coming in, but he's coming in differently. Okay. So if you're dealing with someone who was in that past energy of like, sort of this egotistical Emperor energy... Now they would be coming in with this patient, humbled energy, like the energy of the turtle. And they're coming with a big offer. So, you know, that could be they've created some financial stability for themselves and they're going to offer that to you. Either way, this is not a shitty offer. It's they're coming in humbled. They're different. They're changed. I don't know. That's just that's what I'm getting. Okay. Okay. And look, so this card flew out. I didn't even start shuffling. It just fell out of my hand. So three of pentacles, recognition. So this is um, celebrating, you know, it's um, 
no, that's three of cups. Sorry. So three of pentacles. Um, this could be third party energy, but, um, this is, so for example, if this was a third party energy and you were waiting for them to, you know, sort of realize that they're with a karmic or whatever, and you're, you were waiting for them to wake up to this connection. They have, this is the card of, I've realized that, um, this is not what I want, you know, so and I'm not saying like, so this, how do I put this? This is not a low vibrational masculine. So if, if this is someone who's with someone, they're married or whatever, and they tell you, oh, I'm getting a divorce, but they're really not. And they're still fucking their wife. Like this is not, that's not what I'm talking about. This would be someone. So, you know, that say they were married, you know, their marriage is coming to an end. They're going through a divorce they've been friends with you forever. They come to you and say, Hey, you know, I'm going through this divorce with my wife and I wanted to let you know that I've always had feelings for you. It would be something like along those lines, right? This is not something like where, you know, they're breaking up their marriage for you. This would be something like they're still tangled up with someone else, but it's either ended or it's in the process of ending and they did not end their relationship because of you. Does that make sense? Okay, there it is. And whatever the case, there's another turtle on this one. So this is also the card of like working together. So you guys both want the same thing, okay? And you've had to be very patient in order to achieve this, right? Both of you have, have had to be very patient, yeah, another card flew out. Wow. See, we have the star hope. So both of you or one of you never gave up hope. You just knew. You just knew it would come back around, if that makes sense. What is the final outcome for these two? And then we're going to move on, spirit. Can we get a final outcome for Libra and this beautiful person? What do we got? Final outcome. Ooh, that card flew out too. Page of Pentacles, Opportunity. So there's another turtle. This person has been keeping tabs on you. They're probably watching you on social media. Um, my page my page cards are always cards of like watchers, spires. Now this wouldn't be like some weird low vibrational stalker who comes out and goes, oh Libra, I'm in love with you. And then you're like, ew, gross. And you're not interested, right? This is someone who you have a deep connection with, right? Maybe you just always hoped they would get their shit together and they never fucking did because their head's up their ass. But they've got their shit together now. They're coming in with a different energy. They're coming in with this turtle, patience, observing, curious, humbled energy, okay? They're not quite on your level yet because they're showing up as, you know, well, they, they went from you know, emperor, which is like, you know, kind of like this egotistical type energy to like a page energy. So I wouldn't necessarily call that a downgrade because it feels like they have done a lot of spiritual learning, if that makes sense. And um, while they're not quite at the energy of like, you know, the hierophant or the high priest, or even any of the kings, they're on their way, if that makes sense, okay? So it feels like your masculine, while he's not quite on your level yet, Libra, if this is a Libra um, feminine I'm speaking to, they're on their way. They are learning and they've grown a lot and they're coming with an offer and they've been watching you for a minute. So the, there's a lot of messages coming through, um, but they're coming with a valid offer They've learned a lot. They've grown a lot. And while they're still only in the page energy, um, their patience shows me that they're, they are in the energy of change and of learning. So they're not in this energy of ego. They're in the energy of I'm willing and ready to learn and adapt, if that makes sense. Phew, that's a lot. Um, 
So it could be a possible earth sign or fire sign. Um, the emperor to me is always fire sign energy. Um, but, you know, pentacles is earth sign. So they could have earth or fire in their chart. Um, and I don't know. I guess that's it. Um, we're going to move on from that. The energy is good. It doesn't feel... It doesn't feel crappy. We're going to pull some cards from the Romance Angels and see what they have to say about this connection, though. Okay? All right. We want to make sure it's safe for you to proceed forward with this person, Libra. I'm not going to leave you out in the dust. I'm not going to say, go for it. And then he's a total, complete douchebag. Or, you know, I'm not going to tell my Libra masculines, oh, go for it. And she's a complete cunt bitch. <laughs> All right. So let's see what else we got. What else do our beautiful scales, my beautiful Libras, what do they need to know? My lovely air signs, romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So the feelings mutual, you guys both have very strong romantic feelings for each other. And look, if you look, it's a masculine and a feminine kissing and Cupid is chilling in the background. So, you know, it's the feelings are mutual. Cupid has made sure of that. Okay. So we're going to pull some more cards. So unrequited love flipped, but it didn't come out. And playfulness flipped, but didn't come out. So in the past, you may have felt like this was unrequited or they didn't feel the same way, but they definitely do. They have romantic feelings. Now it's showing up. Um, playfulness. So it might be time to, you know... Show your lighthearted, beautiful Libra flirty energy, right? If you feel so guided to. Okay, what else do we got for Libra? We have calling in your soulmate. So you sent out that call, the SOS, and the universe heard you, and they sent you an angel. Da -da -da -da. There it is. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help to bring you both together. So it wasn't just one. They manifested you as well. I can't help but notice that every single person in this card, like, okay, I don't normally notice this. I don't know why it's coming out in your reading, Libra, but I can't help but notice that every single masculine in this deck has dark hair, dark hair here, dark hair here. I don't know that might be significant for some of you. I don't know why Spirit wanted me to point that out, but they did. So, it's whatevs. And we have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, okay? So, it feels like if in the past you wouldn't work on, on, um, you didn't really want to work on this, right? But now's the time. The timing was off. But now the time is on. The timing is right. So they want you to work on it. We're going to get one more card and then we're going to be done. See? I just said that. It's worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I literally just said the timing was off. That's why you didn't want to work on it before. But now you're both ready. Now you're both ready. Look, worth waiting for. Divine timing. I just said it was divine timing. So where both of you weren't ready before, you're ready now. Now is the right time. Before it wasn't the right time. Things were off. The energy is right now for it. Though. Boom. Oh my goodness. I'm done. All right. So let's get um, three of these cards for you. Then we're going to go on to your career. And we're going to end with the spirit guide that is helping you with this connection. And we're going to be done. Libra. What do we got for Libra? Movement meditation, number 32. I celebrate and honor my physical body through dance and movement. So you or your person um, loves to dance. We have movement meditation. So, you know, spirit is asking you to move your body. Meditation doesn't necessarily mean sitting down and meditating for 10 minutes and still and perfect silence. You can meditate by moving your body, by turning on music, by turning on music and moving your hips. 
you know, especially for, I, I do this a lot, okay, especially for the feminines, you turn on some slow, sensual music and move your hips, let your body be sensual and sexy and allow that to be your meditation, right? Maybe you can say things in your mind and in your head um, to affirm your beautiful, juicy goddess type energy. You know, I am sexy. I am beautiful. I am aligned. I am glowing. I am divine. Things like that while you're dancing because you are all of those things, Libra. You are all of those things. I have some amazing, beautiful Libra friends that are females and all of you. I have Libra male, males too that are that I'm friends with and all of you, all of you. And if you're a Libra and you're my friend, yes, I'm talking about you. All of you are fucking amazing, beautiful, attractive. So 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 sexy. Libras are the sexiest I, in my opinion, Libra and Scorpio, sexiest in the zodiac. Oh my gosh, something about Libra energy and Scorpio energy period, masculine, feminine, it doesn't matter. You guys are fucking amazing. Okay. So there's that. Um, 32, um, three and two is five. So doing that is going to help change the energy field around you, um, which will somehow help with your person. I don't know how that's going to resonate with you, but <clears throat> we have the root chakra number five. So it's time to let go of the fear of love, um, ground yourself with some beautiful root chakra meditations, you know, go on YouTube and Google root chakra meditations. Um, it says I have everything I need to survive and grow on this physical plane and you do. Okay. So there's no lack mentality anymore, Libra, right? You have everything you need to grow and to thrive right now in this lifetime. And whatever you don't have, spirit's bringing it and it's on the way to you. Affirm that. 20, throat chakra. I speak my truth and encourage others to speak theirs. This is so true. All of my Libra friends, they are so open with their truth. They just speak it and they don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. And it's so funny because they're just, they are unapologetic, unapologetic when it comes to speaking their truth. They're like, oh, well, if you don't like it, I don't care. My one friend... Um, he goes by the cosmic threader or Tim on Instagram. Um, and it's, he's so funny. He's constantly pushing the bars, um, of like speaking his truth and he doesn't give a shit who he offends. And that's why I love him so fiercely. So this is number two. It's about balancing your truth. Um, speaking it, but make sure, you know, that you're speaking it at the time that it's called for. Right. Um, I mean, it's about balancing your energy, right? You can speak your truth whenever you want to. I, I encourage you to always speak your truth. Like, never hold it back. I don't give a fuck who, who thinks it's not a good idea, whatever, or about balancing your throat chakra. I think you should just, I mean, speak your truth whenever the hell you want. You know, by all means, please. Because doing so encourages other people, like it says, to speak their truth, okay? And, you know, zero is also the number of zero point, which is a neutral energy, so, but yes, like all throughout the, the, the fucking stupid pandemic, like my friend Tim was just like going into stores and being like, why do I have to do this? Why, why am I masking? Why are you treating us like this? And he just didn't care. And he just spoke his truth and he was outspoken about it. And he was like, I'm not conforming. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. And he filmed it all. And they oftentimes they kicked him out and they treated him like absolute garbage, but he was brave enough to keep going back to these stores and to keep filming. And, you know, he was there in the midst of it and filming all of this. And it was groundbreaking work before anyone else was doing it. Before the truckers were, he was there speaking his truth and saying, I will not conform and you could not force me to. And God love him. He just, he, he, did, he does amazing work. And you should follow him. He goes by the Cosmic Threader on YouTube. Um, and also on um, Instagram. He's an incredible, beautiful soul. Okay, so um, we're going to do your career cards. And then we're going to end with the spirit guide that is guiding you, my beautiful Libras. I love you all so much. 
and we're gonna you know move on and from there and maybe i'll do scorpios i don't know yet <laughs> i don't know so all right so what is the career advice for libra career advice for libra Ooh, your guys' energy is fucking amazing your cards just flying out there's no stopping you now okay so spirit is asking you to get organized for success and it says, I'm going to read it just because it made me laugh. It says, do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. <laughs> so it says, organizing your thoughts, your reports, and your living and workspace and your finances will help you to know and plan your next actions. So, you know, it's, we're in Virgo season. So that's the only reason it's coming out, Libra, is like, you know, Spirit is sort of pushing us all to get fucking organized. They're like, it's Virgo season. <laughs> what do we learn from Virgo? Virgos are really, really organized. I mean, God bless them. My daughter's a Virgo and she organizes her crayons according to color. <laughs> I love that she's so organized and she balances me out because I am so disorganized at times. And she really teaches me how to become more organized. And that's why, you know, Spirit is probably placed her you know with me um she teaches me a lot about how to organize my life and she's a huge blessing okay pay yourself first so libra okay there's so there's no more of this energy of like oh i'm gonna i'm taking care of other people before me no spirit is telling you when you get that money, you're not going to give it away to your kids. You're not going to give it. I mean, if you have to give it away to your kids because they need something, then by all means, like, you know, mothers are, we're not, we're not selfless like that. If our, if your kid needs something, of course, you know, buy it for them. But only if it's a need, like say they need medication, you got to spend your paycheck first on them because they need this. Of course, I'm not saying, I'm not denying your beautiful children anything, but say, for example, you know, you get money, you know, your kid wants a toy. They're being spoiled. And Spirit is saying, no, you take care of you first, Libra. So you make sure you're going to put, you're going to pay yourself first. You're going to put that money into a savings account or you're going to set it aside in a safe or put it under a fucking rock. I don't care. But that money is yours. That's Libra. How much do you get paid an hour, Libra? Boom. So set that aside for you. Okay. For a day's worth of work. Set it aside. That's Libra's money. Nobody can touch that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Cause you're gonna you're gonna you're starting you're gonna start saving for something fucking amazing. I don't know what it is, but something good. Tell me something good. I just heard that too. Tell me that you like it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even know if that's how it goes, but I don't get songs very often and that that came to me. So that's for you, Libra. I don't know. Tell me tell me something good. All right. So here we go. Tell me that you love me. Is that how it goes? Tell me that you love me. I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that like Mr. Big or something? Mr. Big. I don't know. I don't even know the song. I don't know. I don't know, Libra. But somebody's somebody wants you to tell them something good. I don't know. Or you want you want someone to tell you something good. Find a message for Libra. Da -da 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 -da. The altar priestess. Yes. All right. So Preparation, prayer, and sacred ritual. Wowzers. Number 39. So it's number 12. Okay. Um, two and one make up three. So it's number 12. It's also number three. That might be significant for someone. But the altar priestess is basically about um, allowing yourself sacred rituals, which sort of bring magic to your day okay whether that's meditation whether that's praying whether that's doing witchy spells however it works for you it's making time for the divine in order to create magical feelings of joy in your life so spirit is saying put aside time to do something just for libra you know to sort of prepare your energy for magic okay and by magic i mean all of these blessings which are going to be coming in with this new connection right so 
whatever it is that you want to do to create a sacred ritual, you know, like I said, whether it's meditating, whether it's cleansing your energy, whether it's going outside and saging, I don't know, whatever it is that feels sacred to you, do that. Do that, Libra. All right, so that's going to conclude your reading. I love you so much. If something resonated, please like, please subscribe, share, um, hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video that I upload. If you want to book a reading with me, all of my information is in the description box. All you got to do is click on the Goldie appointment fix. I love you, Libra. You, you have some really great things coming in. I am so proud of you. All right, bye.